Ismail Haniyeh, top leader of the Palestinian Islamist group Hamas, suffered the killing of three of his sons and four grandchildren in an Israeli strike on the Celebration Day Idol Fighter following the Muslim Holy Month of Ramadan in Gaza City. Before we proceed with the news and facts, please like and subscribe the channel to continue to receive such informative videos. Thank you. The Israeli military and the Shin Bet Intelligence Service coordinated the strike on three of the sons of Ismail Hanya. Media explains that Netanyahu nor Defense Minister Yov Gallant were informed about the strike. Israeli officials reported that the three grown-up sons, Amir, Mohammed and Hazem Haniya, had been targeted as possible fighters, and probably not because they were the sons of Hamas's political leader. The Israeli military refused to comment on that four of Haniya's grandchildren were also killed in the same strike by Israeli forces. Ismail Haniya, 61, told Reuters his sons had never been active Hamas fighters. These claims are only lies to justify this crime and massacre, he said. And the four grandchildren were all minors. They were going on Eid Day, visiting relatives, he added. Eid al fighter celebrations after the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Haniya expressed, the interests of the Palestinian people are placed above everything. We are seeking to reach a deal, but the occupation is still procrastinating and evading. A response to the demands, killings and last week's assassination of Hamas and senior Iranian generals in the Iranian embassy in Damascus were the proactive acts of aggression designed to thwart any chance of a hostage deal. The left-wing Haaretz daily newspaper the relentless critic of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his government reported, last month Israeli army attacked on an aid convoy in Gaza that killed seven mostly European aid workers. International voices and concerns for a ceasefire have been growing as the war has entered its seventh month, but there has been invisible sign of progress in the talks, despite massive destruction and charges, including genocide. Hamas is negotiating an end to the Israeli offensive, a withdrawal of Israeli forces, and permission for Gaza's displaced Palestinians to return to their homes. Government of Israel expects to secure the return of the hostages, but says it will not end the war until Hamas is destroyed as a military force, and that it is still planning to assault the southern city of Rafah where more than a million civilians have taken refuge, meaning a continuation of aggression and war.